Hello, 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 and happy Sunday to all of my gods and goddesses, Aquarius. I hope you all having a fantastic day today. But then again, I know you are because that's the intention you set. Yes, Aquarius, we are moving towards this full moon. Yes, and what does that mean? A lot. It means fulfillment, revelation, illumination. It even means that, and you know, I always remind you all, and by the way, don't forget to supercharge your gemstones and crystals um, tomorrow night. Um, depending on where you are in the world, but uh, but um, it also mean, it also means that you know it's illuminating all paths of our lives, not just physically but also metaphorically, right? And so it's like this big celestial battery, like just supercharging you back up. So I want you all to stay focused. We're also going to be talking about the number five on today. And we're going to get right into it. This is a general reading. These cards that I'm using today are the Modern Witch Tarot deck by Lisa Sterl. These cards right here are the Sacred Self-Care Oracle deck by Jill Powell. If you've been with me for quite some time, you know I'll switch up the cards every now and then. Like, give everybody some love. Yes. All right. So, again, if you're interested in a personal reading, my information is down below. Let's go, Aquarius. Let's go. Yes. Most high God in the universe, please give me a special reading for my wonderful Aquarius gods and goddesses as it relates to every area of their lives, specifically in areas of power and intellect, money and wealth, creativity and emotions and spirituality and where they need to take action. What information do we have for my wonderful gods and goddesses Aquarius? So during around the, the time of the full moon, like I said, it's tomorrow night, you'll see an increased... Um, like lots of crimes going on and lots of emergency rooms, you know, a lot of activity going on all around you because people, the battery you're moving towards being completely supercharged. Some people don't know what to do with that energy. Okay. So things are being fully exposed both within us and around us. So don't be surprised by who says what and who does what Aquarius. Okay. The information that I'm getting right now as I'm shuffling these cards for you all is that some of your biggest challenges are coming from your own family members. Yes, Aquarius, this is why you all need to really, really, really stay focused. Really stay focused. And it can cause a lot of emotions. And this is what I'm seeing right here when I look at this. Yes, causing a lot of emotion when I look at these cards. So look at this. We have the Seven of Cups. We have the Ace of Cups. Lots of emotion. We have the Six of Cups. Yes. We have the Eight of Wands. We have the Three of Cups. And we have the King of Pentacles, right? Let's move this over here, right? I don't want you all to let your emotions get in the way of getting you to this right here because you have the Midas touch, right, to get in the way of your money. Okay, Aquarius? Don't let your emotions get in the way of your money. Don't let your emotions get in the way of your money. I'm going to say it again. Don't let your emotions get in the way of your money. You got to remember who you are, Aquarius. You got to remember who you are. A lot of things are being exposed within people and within us and around us, right? All of us, right? Um, that's everybody. Doesn't matter what your sign is. But so I don't want your emotions, because I'm seeing a lot of emotions in your cars, right? You all are tempted to, and like I said, family, six of cups, right? A lot of you all are really, really close to family members. And I'm talking about blood relatives, right? I don't want you all to get fixated on what happens with blood relatives or your family, right? During this time, because a lot of things are being exposed both within us and all around us. That's every single sign, no matter what your sign is, right? But this, what I'm getting right here is that you all are very, very tempted to go there with family members who may be trying to throw you off course, right? Trying to throw you off course. I want to help y'all understand something. When I always talk about how we're all gods, right? We are all gods. I want you to remember. I want you to say, I am an Aquarius. I am a god. I am open-minded. I'm a humanitarian. I am creative. I am free-spirited. I am intellectual. I am progressive, original, independent. I'm unique. I'm friendly. I'm powerful. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Your most likable trait as a divine masculine, and that's who it doesn't matter if you identify as a man or woman, but as a divine masculine, you are a giver. Your most, um, your most likable um, trait is your friendliness, right? Some of you all have really been biting your tongue when it comes to family members because you're like, oh, I'm scared, you know, my family. No, that right there is that's the devil side of yourself, right? People think the devil side of yourself is doing evil things to people. Also, the devil side of yourself is fear and doubt. 
right? Fear, doubt, and confusion. I'm not really sure what I should do. I'm not sure what I should do, right? So yes, some of you all have been thinking about as far as with family members, especially family members that you are connected to or real close with ever since you were younger, right? It could have been a sister, it could be a cousin, it could be a parent, it doesn't matter who it is. But yes, you can still have a healthy relationship with your family, but guess what? You got, and you still have can have compassion towards their journey, right? You still can have compassion towards their journey. You can even remember when you all were celebrating with them. But sometimes you're going to have to celebrate. See right here. Let me show you this right here. Three of cups, right? You got your, your squad together, right? It could, for some of you all, be your family members. But this right now is me, myself, and I. This is you. So your friendliness Aquarius sometimes has gotten in the way because you don't want to offend people you don't want to look like the person who is inconsistent someone who is stubborn someone who's an extremist right but remember you're the water bearer right you're a water bearer the water bearer is the bearer of truth right you're bringing the water the cups is the water right yes right so cup signs represent water sign that's the these the Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, right? But you're you're not. A lot of people assume that Aquarius, because you're the water bearer, are water signs, but you all are air signs, right? So you all are the bearer of truth. So when you and not only that, how long can people live without oxygen, without air? They can't live at all, right? So yes, instead of you focusing on just being overly friendly with people who near to hear the truth, hey, listen, this is where we're gonna have to part ways in the sand between you and family members. Listen. I, I, I know what the truth is. You you have your version of the truth, but I know what the truth is. There's a difference between your version and the truth, right, Aquarius? So I know what the truth is. And, and when you start talking about your truth versus the truth, that's where I'm going to have to cut the conversation short, right? Okay, you can assume, people can assume all day, oh gosh, Aquarius is being rude. No, you're not being rude. But I'm going to tell you something, if you keep allowing people from your compassion towards them, it's like, you know what, I feel sorry for them because they're this part of their journey. And you're even tempted, this, this card right here, Seven of Cups means temptation. You're even tempted to even entertain some stuff because, like, let me bring them into the light. Let me help them. No, 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 no. I'm going to tell you what it's affecting. It's affecting your money because you're putting all of your energy, your time, and your effort into helping to convince family members of the truth when people have to learn in their own time, right? You are a giver by default, Aquarius. Don't give any more time and attention to people who are who want to sit in a lie <laughs> for real i'm serious no more time and attention right no more time and attention i want you all to understand something right some people don't even understand the, the part of themselves that they've tapped into they've tapped into set right you ever hear somebody say what set you from yeah set they've tapped into set set is a god of deserts storms disorder violence Sometimes when you're talking to people who have decided, hey, my truth, my truth, I'm going to argue my truth over the truth, that's what you're going to get. You're going to get their storm part of themselves. You're going to get the disorder, the violent part of themselves. They are just, they straight up, this is why you have to stand in your power, Aquarius, because that's the part of them that you're going to get. You're going to get all the confusion, all the this and all the that. Even if you came to them with logic, something written down on paper, they would still question it. And they would still say, well, that was written by such and such and such and such because that's not the truth. That's not my truth. Okay, that's your truth. So again, instead of you getting caught up in a bunch of confusion and chaos and draining and wearing yourself out, you cut it off. You take that sword energy that you are and you cut it off right then and there and watch how quickly things change for you. Quick progression, right? Quick progression. And when I say you all have the Midas touch, the Midas touch when it comes to your money, the king of pentacles, yes, all you need to do is sit right there. Just sit in your power. Sit on your throne as a god or goddess. You sit there in your power because you are untouchable. The reason why people are trying to fight you so hard, Aquarius, is because they know it's your truth against their 15, 20, 30, 50 truths, right? Whatever their truth is, is a bold-faced lie. 
Okay, I hope y'all are following me. You understand, right? Because what I see for you all is that you're celebrating in the spirit, right? You're celebrating me, myself, and I in the spirit. Your compassion has never left you. Your cup runneth over with compassion towards people. By default, you're a humanitarian. You want to help the world progress. Why? Because you're the smartest sign in the zodiac, right? And you're constantly gaining knowledge from the from the universe, right? And the Most High God, right? Yeah. So sometimes. Aquarius, you may be tempted to what? Come down off of your throne as a God and give a helping hand to some energies out there because you love them, because you know you want to help them out financially, you want to bring them into the light, you want to bring them into the truth, but no, don't do it. You sit right there in your truth. All right, trying to help somebody, trying to help. Remember, it's a battle of frequencies. It's not a battle of them versus you. It's a battle of frequencies. People are on different, some people are on completely different frequencies. Don't get tripped up by thinking, okay, well, this is my family. We've known each other my whole life, and I can't believe they're acting like this. That's that fixed part of you. Don't stay fixated on that. Listen, I'm trying to help y'all move forward to this right here. You have the Midas touch and whatever it is you're doing, your business, your job, your, your career, whatever it is you're doing, you have the Midas touch stand in your truth. You want to be fixated on something, Aquarius, as a fixed sign? Stay fixated on your truth, on the truth. You are the bearer of truth as the water, the water bearer, right? Yes. So as a giver, you're not going to give energies to conflicting energies, right? People who are just People who are um, are bound by their version of the truth and people who are just, they, they want to make sure they drill their truth into the truth, which is contaminating you, okay? The number five, let's talk about the number five, because number five sits right in the midpoint between one and nine, right? And so five is a visual representation of a pivot point, representing versatility, movement, decision, risk, a new beginning of some kind. Number fives mean that you are naturally connected to higher consciousness by virtue of your keen sense of freedom and adventure. You all are very free-spirited people, right? So you're constantly connect, collecting information all from all over the universe, right? Don't get it twisted. You're all so the ultimate multitasker, the ultimate multitasker as a number five. This is how you got to remember who you are, Aquarius, and you're designed to handle multiple tasks at one time. You also have great magnetism and charm, which makes you very attractive. Five is, a, is very bright, very alert. It means that you have an innate connection to your surroundings that makes you extremely fine-tuned, noticing everything in great detail. This is why, again, when people around you, Aquarius, are... Um, trying to contaminate you with their version of the truth. It doesn't matter what it, whether it's religion, spirituality, whether it is learning a new trait. It doesn't matter what it is. When you know what the truth is, that you don't have any competition, right? You don't. You don't have. When you know what the truth is. You don't have any competition, right? That's why you have so many people, like I said, come, trying to come up against you, Aquarius. But moving towards this full moon, you more and more people are being exposed around you. There are even some things within you, Aquarius, that's being exposed. Because remember, the full moon is a great illuminator. Yes, illuminating everything, right? Even crime rates are up. All kinds of things are up all over the place, right? And so um, people are become more and more agitated, around the full moon, right? But you got to keep moving forward. You know why? Because right now the moon is still gibbous. Yes, waxing gibbous moon. And so what does that mean? The waxing gibbous moon means that you're very close to achieving your goal, whatever your goal is, whatever it is, if it's a, if it's a, um, you know, convincing people. See, the closer and closer you get to the truth, a lot of people become agitated. So some people may feel like, okay, we want to enforce our truth on to you, Aquarius. It's all of them versus you, right? But it's really not even versus you because it's the <laughs> you are the truth. <laughs> How you want to come up against the truth, right? Yes. So this is a time where you want to really, really stay focused and then keep the momentum going as you move towards your dreams. You want to um you want to get back into good health, good habits, just knowing that you're on the right track. It's a good time to kind of sort of review your plans. If you want to um, start new projects, you can even do that, Aquarius, because, hey, you already got this on lock. Yes. Yeah. 
Look at this. Mm, 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 mm. Oh, chow. Let me tell you what's at risk here, Aquarius. Let me tell you what's at risk here. Okay, you have the King of Cups, right? Like I said, there's a lot of emotions in your cards, right? This is where you go and get into your mindfulness. Y'all go sit down somewhere and just focus on moving forward, right? Just leave that battle that leave that battle for them. Let them battle themselves. This this is an internal battle between them because you've already won. Here we have Nine of Cups, wish fulfillment, right? You've already won the battle. You're already victorious. So what you still arguing for, Aquarius? There's no reason for you to argue with people who see you as competition you don't have any competition let people compete with themselves let them argue with themselves because what's at risk here right is because in the past and i'm trying to help y'all not repeat some of the same cycles in the past you've been emotionally wounded when it comes to your money but you've always had the midas touch aquarius always had the midas touch this time you're not going to be walking past all of this money you got the key to open it up because you have the midas touch this time you won't be heartbroken you'll be, know how to get to the heart of the matter you'll start to see people as they are we're spirits first right yeah this is how you take your power back those people who have stabbed you in the back who have betrayed you actually what they did when they left you for dead and they talk about spiritually for dead or even physically for dead they actually cut themselves off from what a great deal of money a great deal of compassion your friendliness all of this i'm trying to tell you to stay focused okay we have the knight of cups right yeah so people who have hurt you in the past Cut themselves off of, from all of this wonderfulness. We're going to make up a word here. All the wonderfulness of an Aquarius. Yes, yes. You all are extremely compassionate people as humanitarians. That's by default. Whether you wanted to turn that off or not, you couldn't turn it off, Aquarius. Even if you wanted to turn your compassion off, you all deeply care about moving mankind forward in the right direction, right? So you cannot be fooled by family members. And this is what I'm saying. Family members who want to disrupt like they've been disrupting your life and interrupting your money this entire time. It doesn't matter if it's your child. It doesn't matter if your parents, I don't care if it's a sibling, a favorite cousin, it does not matter. That's how the Aquarius always gets tripped up is because one, you're so friendly that you don't want to offend those people that's close to you. And that's where they got you right there, Aquarius. But I'm trying to help y'all out. Here we go aromatherapy get you some aromatherapy some herbs and some essential oils right get your amethyst right that resonates with your crown chakra it's going to help you to see things from a god level of clarity because you are a god you got to remember who you are you're a god inside your family as well as outside of your family so they need to get with the program and if they don't guess what you're going to have to make some very very firm decisions aquarius but don't let that friendliness don't let people um, take your friendliness as a weakness, okay? That's what I have for you, Aquarius. Have a great day. And again, oh, don't check out my go go check out my products down down in the description part, like in where the store is on my channel. You'll see my intentions uh, t-shirts down there. Go check them out. Bye.